Thank you guys, so now we're going to talk about arthroscopic subacromial decompression. Arthroscopic subacromial decompression is a very common surgical treatment for impingement of the shoulder and we generally reserve it for those patients who fail conservative treatment, i.e. after they've had physiotherapy and injections. It's an operation that's performed, as the name suggests, through the telescope, so it's a minimally invasive keyhole procedure that's generally done as a day case. In terms of subacromial decompression, the operation is to remove whatever it is that's getting caught on the supraspinatus tendon. So it may involve resection of bone, it may involve resection of soft tissues, and commonly may involve resection of the acromiocurricular joint, all of which can be done through the telescope. In terms of the operation itself, it's usual to have two or three little cuts, one at the back of the shoulder, one at the side of the shoulder, and quite often a third at the front as this allows access to the structures in the front. Obviously one for the instruments and one for the camera itself. Overall arthroscopic topochromal decompression is a very successful operation. Its success rate is around 94% and the other good thing is that generally the 6%, although their symptoms may not be improved, they're generally not made worse by the operation, although sometimes it's necessary to perform the operation again as the condition can grow back occasionally. The other complications include infection, although this is rare and generally treated by some antibiotics. In terms of the practicalities, the operation is performed as a day case, so the patient will generally come into hospital on the day of the operation. It is very usually performed under general anaesthetic and quite often what's called a suprascapular nerve block is put into the shoulder, as this is good for post-operative pain relief. The operation doesn't involve a long period of rehabilitation. Generally there's a little padded dressing on top of the wounds for the first 24 hours. And then the most important thing is to get the shoulder moving, as obviously one doesn't want to get the shoulder stiff. Thank you.